In this video, I'll show you how I transformed this simple Barbie coloring page into an eye-catching artwork that's literally out of this world. This page comes from a Barbie coloring book that I purchased at Five Below. I really like this Barbie astronaut design, so I thought it would be a super fun challenge to see what I could do with it using alcohol markers, colored pencils, and paint pens. I start by applying Copic markers as a base layer. When coloring a portrait, it's important to determine where the light sources are coming from so you can map out your shadows and highlights. Since Barbie is in outer space, I have a lot of creative freedom to invent the light sources and essentially put them wherever I want. So I'm pretending that there's a light source in front of her, coming a little bit from the right. I'm also giving her face a rim light, which is this thin white edge that I'm leaving along the inside outline of her face. This rim light isn't realistic at all, but it will help frame her face and make it pop from the background of her hair. When drawing or coloring a face, it can be extremely helpful to use a reference image so that you know exactly where to place the highlights and shadows. I looked at various portrait photos online, but I didn't find anything that struck a chord with me to match this coloring page. So I decided to just wing it and rely on what I can remember about facial structure to help me invent the highlights and shadows. It's not going to be perfect by any means, but that's totally okay because I'm not going for realism here. Oops, it looks like I went outside the lines, but it's no big deal. I just use the skin color to gently push the lip color back. This coloring book paper isn't ideal for creating smooth blends with alcohol markers, but that's okay because I'm just using alcohol markers as an underpainting and then I'll go over it with Prismacolor colored pencils to smooth out the blends, deepen the shadows, brighten the highlights, and add subtle color variations here and there. For those reasons, I really love using colored pencils on top of alcohol markers. They're such a terrific combination. As I add colored pencils to this artwork, I bounce around a lot as I experiment with different colors, using a range of pinks, oranges, and peachy colors, as well as some browns, a violet, and a white. As a finishing touch on her face, I use a white colored pencil to add small highlights at the tops of her pupils. Notice how this simple step instantly makes her eyes look more 3D and reflective. I add more shading and highlights to her lips, and now the face is done! Moving on to her hair, I start by mapping out where I want the highlights to be. That's what these big circles are. I also draw in some hairlines. You might be surprised that I'm using green for the shadows of her hair. I decided to use green for three reasons. One is that because she's in outer space, I thought it would be fun for her hair to have an otherworldly sheen to it. Kind of inspired by green aliens, but also kind of metallic to create a reflective look that matches her spacesuit. Two, yellow and green are analogous colors right next to each other on the color wheel, so they naturally work well together. Three is that I'm going to make her helmet and spacesuit pink, and pink and green are complementary colors, which means they're opposite on the color wheel, so when used together, they create an eye-catching contrast. For her hair, I'm carefully coloring from light to dark because I definitely don't want to accidentally make her hair too dark. I want her hair to look like a fluorescent neon blonde, so that bright yellow is the predominant color, along with the big white highlights. After applying a base layer of alcohol markers, I do most of the work on her hair with colored pencils, gradually going darker and darker along the bottom of her hair, where it tucks underneath the helmet, as well as darkening the hair along her side part, and the hair that's behind her face, which will be the darkest. Now it's time to color in her helmet. I start with a base layer of fluorescent pink, and then I space out some shadows. I want her helmet to look reflective, so I alternate areas of light and dark to create that reflective look. I use five different alcohol markers to go from light to dark, and as before, I use colored pencils to smooth it out. By now you can see that this helmet is really starting to look reflective, and the helmet color looks great against the yellow-green of her hair. If you're enjoying this video, please tap the like button, because that lets me know that you enjoy this kind of content, and it encourages me to make more videos like this for you. You can also subscribe to my channel to see more of my art tips, techniques, and tutorials. To add another reflective touch on this helmet, I use my white colored pencil to draw a line along the inside edge of the helmet, which helps make it look more shiny. Next, I work on this inner part of the helmet. I need to be careful with this part because I don't want the color to compete with the color of her hair or the rest of her helmet. 
So I go for very subtle pastel blue and light violet colors, placing the colors to match the light and dark areas of the reflective pink part of the helmet, using alcohol markers first, and then smoothing it out with colored pencils. To finish off the helmet, I use a white Posca paint pen to brighten the highlights on the pink parts of the helmet. And then I move on to the rest of her spacesuit. The dominant color will be pink, so I start by adding a light pink, and then quickly blend in some shadows to make her spacesuit look more 3D. Then for contrast, I add some darker pinks to this part of her spacesuit, and quickly add some shadows. I add some yellow accents to her spacesuit with orange shading to create a sense of dimension. And then I finish blocking in the colors by adding blue to these straps. Now it's time to go in and add more details with colored pencils. I want her spacesuit to look shiny and holographic, so I play around with highlights and shadows. It can really help to look at reference images for this type of thing, but I'm mainly just making it up as I go along. I add a pink wavy line to help enhance the holographic effect. I give it some highlights and shadows and also add some yellow. Now I'm basically just finishing up the rest of her spacesuit, adding highlights and shadows with colored pencils. By now, you should have a pretty good idea of how to combine a base layer of alcohol markers with a top layer of colored pencils. It's amazing how well colored pencils can enhance an alcohol marker underpainting. It's definitely one of my favorite coloring techniques. To learn more of my favorite coloring techniques, check out my ultimate guide to using alcohol markers, which I'll link to below this video. It's designed to take you from beginner to advanced, so no previous experience is required. To finish off Barbie's spacesuit, I use a white Posca paint pen to bring out even more highlights. I use the paint pen sparingly, just in places where I want some extra shine. Now it's time to color in the background. I give these planets a bright layer of colors with alcohol markers, and then increase the shading with colored pencils. Then I quickly color in the stars. I decide to add more detail to the background, so I use colored pencils to add lots of little stars. These stars are kind of subtle, so next I use Posca paint pens to add lots of brighter stars. The brighter stars look closer to us, and the dimmer stars look farther away, which adds a sense of dimension to this galaxy background. The final step is to color in the words. I choose fluorescent yellow for the base color, because yellow really stands out against black, and it also mimics the colors of the stars. I then add a subtle ombre to the letters, along the tops and bottoms, just to make it look a bit more dynamic. And now we're done! Our Barbie coloring page looks so luminescent! Here's a quick before and after to show you just how far we've come, from a blank coloring page to a fully finished work of art. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments! If you want to learn more about how to combine markers with colored pencils, check out this video where I color in this detailed owl using Sharpie markers and Crayola colored pencils. See you there! Yay!